Hello, welcome back. I hope you're doing very well. Just a quick little quality of life tip video for you today. Since we got probability on the force, I have found that my personal favorite way of using it is to take quite a long, busy sequence of notes and apply a bit of probability to everything, just a little bit, so that you get some nice variation or, or subtle randomness in the pattern. The only problem with that is applying uh, probability per step is a bit laborious. Um, and the step sequencer isn't particularly nice for this because you can't get everything on one screen but still get the resolution you need. So I tend to use the list editor for it. So this is just a little list editor um, kind of tip or a couple of tips. So if we go to the clip, we're on this track here. You can see it's an eight bar loop, which is quite long and there's quite a lot of uh, stuff going on in it. And I want to apply something to uh, some probability to all of these notes. So if we switch over to the list editor, we could do this by tapping here, um, but this is really laborious and this goes down quite a long way because it's quite a long pattern. So first tip is if you want to select um, a couple or a few multiple steps, if you hold the shift button down, it will let you select uh, a group of them, which you can then change all at the same time. Much similar sort of behavior as you'd expect by um, holding down shift and selecting on a computer. But if you want to select all of the notes or all of the steps, the easiest way to do it is to select the first one, hold shift down, and then roll the encoder down. And you can see that it has now selected all of our steps for us. Um, the next step to this is obviously that hasn't helped you because if we tap on one thing, it goes back to, to selecting just the one step again. So if we select everything like that, um, once you've got the whole thing selected, press shift and hold it and you can now tap each of these fields and it will select the entire selection of fields. So we've got probability selected now and you can see that we can uh, change the probability of all of our notes at the same time. Like I say, I think this works really nicely if you've got quite a busy pattern and you step everything down to about 85% or something. You just get a tiny little bit of variation uh, in your pattern as it's playing through, but you haven't had to go through the laborious process of doing each of these individually. Um, works quite nicely, and obviously you can do this for all of these as well. If you had ratchets in here, you could apply a little bit of ratchet as well if you wanted to so that's it um lots of people might know this i didn't know this it took me a while to figure it out so hopefully it will be useful to someone um thanks very much for watching as ever and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye